All rise. The Honolulu Immigration Court presided by the Honorable Judge Judy Smith is now in session. Good morning. You may be seated. This is an initial removal hearing before Immigration Judge Judy Smith in Honolulu, Hawaii, on July 1, 2020, in the matter of Ramon Martinez, case number A29395587. The respondent is appearing pro se. Counsel for the government, please state your appearance for the record. Michael Jordan, on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security. To the respondent through the interpreter. Good morning, sir. What language do you speak and understand best? Spanish. These proceedings will be interpreted today in the Spanish language. The interpreter today is a contract interpreter and needs not to be sworn in. Can you hear the interpreter clearly through the headphones? Yes. Do you understand the interpreter? Yes. If at any time, you have difficulty understanding the interpreter, please let me know immediately. Sir, would you be willing to swear an oath to tell the truth? Yes. Please stand and raise your right hand. Do you swear that the testimony you will provide in these proceedings will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please state your full and true name for the record. Ramon Martinez. Where do you currently live? I moved last week. Now I'm living at 6010 Saratoga Boulevard, Corpus Christi, Texas, 78414. The clerk is handing you two blue change of address forms. Please complete them at this time. Provide one to the court clerk and the other to the government attorney. Please take an additional blue change of address form with you. If you move again at any time during these proceedings, you must complete a change of address form and file it with the court within five days of moving. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you Mr. Martinez. The government asserts that you are in the U.S. in violation of law. The purpose of the hearing is to determine whether you are an alien and, if so, if you are in the U.S. in violation of law. The court must determine whether there are any provisions of law that would permit you to remain in the U.S. permanently and, if that is not possible, whether you will be leaving the U.S. under an order of removal or an order of voluntary departure. These questions will be answered after hearing all of the facts of the case. You have the right to be represented during these hearings by an attorney or qualified representative at your own expense. The government cannot provide you with an attorney or qualified representative. The court clerk is providing you with a legal aid list of individuals and organizations that may be able to represent you at little or no cost. Do you understand? Yes. Do you want more time to get a lawyer or representative to help you in these proceedings? Yes. Because you have stated that you want time to locate an attorney, I will continue your case to September 22, 2020. I encourage you to use the legal aid list. If the first organization cannot help you, please contact the second organization until you find one that can help you. If you cannot find or afford an attorney or organization to represent you, be prepared to speak for yourself at the next hearing. Do you understand? Yes. I want to warn you that you may encounter unscrupulous individuals, in fact, some may be outside in the halls of this building, that present themselves as notarios that can help you in these proceedings. These individuals are not attorneys, and they may not represent you in this court. If a person says that he or she can represent you, and you are not certain that they are an attorney, ask to see proof that they can represent you in this court. If someone agrees to represent you in these proceedings, be sure to get that person's business card. If you pay that person any money to assist you in these proceedings, be sure to get a receipt for any money you have paid. Finally, you should get a written description of what that person will do for you during the course of their representation. Do you understand everything I have said to you? Yes, I do. The clerk is providing you with the only written notice you will receive of the next hearing. The clerk is also providing you with an advisal of your rights. You must return here on September 22, 2020 at 8.30. Please arrive early. 
If you do not appear at the next hearing as ordered, you will be ordered deported and removed from the United States, unless you can show that your absence was caused by exceptional circumstances beyond your control. Exceptional circumstances are defined as a serious illness, or death of an immediate family member. If you are ordered removed, any applications for relief you may have pending before this court will be deemed abandoned and will be denied. Additionally, you will become ineligible for certain forms of relief, such as voluntary departure, cancellation of removal, adjustment of status, or change of status for a period of 10 years. Anything from the government? No, Your Honor. There being nothing further, this matter is continued to the date and time indicated on the notice provided to the parties. Court is adjourned.